Hello and welcome back. Now, when Katie Mellua began to research what makes songwriters work better, and the answer was to write what you know about, it inspired the singer to revisit her roots. And for her latest album, In Winter, she's travelled to her homeland and worked with the Georgian choir as well. She describes experience as learning how to sing again. We shall talk to Katie Morning. about to uh, see what you. all that Thanks. means. But uh, first, let's have a little look at this. If all your dreams were on fire, which one would you say when it comes down to the wire? Should I? That's beautiful. It's really <laughs> lovely. Katie, welcome back to the breakfast Thank sofa. You. Lovely Thanks to have you. Thanks for having me. So, tell us about this choir that we can we can see there. Where did you first hear about them? Because we've been saying all morning for those who've been watching throughout the morning that they sort of you felt you almost had to relearn how to sing listening yeah. to them. Um, well, first I heard of them on Spotify because I was researching musicians out in Georgia. Mm. Um, I've always wanted to make a record out there, mainly because I wanted to go back home and kind of what you said in the introduction, wanting to um, develop and grow even more mm. and to kind of just look at everything I'd done up until this point, up until making this In Winter album. Um, and I just found them mesmerizing. I found the way they worked really fascinating, completely different to the, I guess, the pop music culture that I've made my records in. Yeah. Um, and just the way they visualize music the way Tona, the conductor who you're watching there, you know, she gets 24 female voices to sound like one creature. Um, and it was beautiful and majestic. Um, you say it was almost like learning to sing again from your point of view, how so? Um, I think when you've made six albums, and I mean, I started really young. I had my first album out at 19. You know, once I got past 30, um, finding sort of, different ways of, I guess, motivating yourself, you know, and what to do next. Those are really important questions, I feel, especially in the music industry, which is changing so quickly. And I always felt like um, I had to, there were certain gaps in my skill set, you know, like playing the guitar. I've always kind of bluffed it in a way because it's the instrument is so versatile. You can do anything on it. You don't need to be technical on it. And also with writing lyrics, it's something that is um, really difficult for me. It has been really difficult. Yeah. So I just wanted to explore different ways of creating. And then with the choir, they're a classical choir. So they have a whole system of how to train, how to sing. Um, and I wanted to research it. Wow. It's also been, I, I imagine it's been quite a sort of, I know it sounds very uh, sort of musician-ish, but it's that, that sort of voyage of rediscovery for you, isn't it? Because you left Georgia at the age of eight to yeah. come to the UK, you've gone back, mm -hmm. and one of the songs on there mentions your grandfather as well. And how different is the country that you left now going back to it? Actually, it's massively different. So I left in 94, and that was sort of four years, three, four years into the breakdown of the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And the country's infrastructure came to a complete standstill, which meant you know, the countryside and the cities were littered with abandoned buses, trains, um, and actually just next door to my grand's place was an abandoned airport, which meant there were left, like, left uh, rusty planes. And you used to play on them? Yeah, and that was our playground. Um, and so I wrote a song about that experience. It's called Plane Song. Guess what, we've got it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> have a listen. Good. We lie pretending those planes could fly That rusty old winds knew the entire sky It was just pretending There was nothing more Hey, why the sad face? Can't you feel this cabin sore?
aeroplane song, and it's about playing in those uh, those mm -hmm. aeroplanes. And it's dedicated to your grandfather. Yeah, I mean, it mentions him. He has an incredible life, uh, where at the age of 15 he was sent to a Siberian labour camp, which, you know, obviously in the Soviet countries, mm. that happened to a lot of people. Um, but what I loved about the way he used to tell, tell me these stories mm. was he always made himself look like a hero in it and it was always filled with adventure and it was it was like he was telling me that history but still making it um, digestible for a child you know and for a teenager and trying to understand that past but still you know look at the positives of the fact that he survived it mm. um, and that's the thing with that song also even though we had these this country that had completely come to a standstill in, in, in terms of infrastructure um, it was still so positive you know the fact that you find so much light and wonder in these things but it was the music that we were listening to out in Georgia which was music from the West you know so this country the UK which I feel so lucky that it has adopted me um, is where the music industry is in a way still thriving and um, you know to have gone from that background to come here and actually make it in the music industry is phenomenal and that's what I wanted to remind myself of so that was what it was about going back to Georgia getting this choir to come with me to come on this adventure with me and uh, make an album that's that is designed really for this time of year winter time mm. is it is it a one-off you sound so inspired you might be going back for another one is it <laughs> I mean, I, these ladies, they were, you know, we just became such good friends and I feel like they're my comrades now. And I, you know, I want to make more records with them. Um, but, you know, 24 women on the road is, you know, as you can imagine, the practicalities of that are pretty intense. So, I don't know, you know, we'll have to see what, what happens next. Oh, Katie, it's really lovely to see you, as always. Thank you so much for joining us. Katie's me. album is called In Winter. And that is all for this morning.